To all pinball owners, have you ever encountered this problem? Here is a classic example of a burnt out general illumination connector. This is evident on all pinball machines from the late 70s to the modern day ones. Today we're going to show you how to solve this problem by replacing the old incandescent bulbs with new LEDs. We also have an LED preserver. This device will save your LEDs burning out prematurely. This has been a problem with pinballs operated in 240 volt applications. Hi, I'm Rod from the Pinball People and today we're going to demonstrate the benefits of installing LEDs and our LED preserver in this Williams Star Trek Next Generation. Firstly, let's have a look at the power consumption of the original incandescent bulbs. As you can see, we're now in a track mode. The power consumption is around 280 and it will drop down to 260 watts as the lamps flash in general attract mode. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the general illumination altogether. And we'll do that by removing this plug. As you can see, we're now oscillating between around about 150 watts and 210 watts. So the general illumination power consumption is approximately a third of the overall power consumed by the machine. The next step is to replace the original incandescent light bulbs with these LEDs. And we're going to install our LED general illumination life preserver. The lights, LEDs will Come. be replaced here and in the play field. Yeah. Okay, so we've changed all of the incandescent lamps and we've put the LEDs in. Now let's take a look at the power consumption. As you can see, we're now oscillating between 180 and we're going down to about 160 watts, which is around about 100 to 120 watts saving. So as you can see there's a real power saving of around 100 watts or about a third of the power consumption of the machine. Now there's more to this device than just that. So let's take a look at the insert panel. And if you watch closely there's three brightness settings. That being the brightest, that being the next brightest, and that being the lowest or the dimmest setting. Now let's take a look at how easy it is to install this LED GI Life Preserver. Here we have the Star Trek Next Generation, which is a Bally Williams machine. So we can identify the general illumination plug. It's the yellow and yellow white wires coming from the transformer. So if we unplug, and we plug our life preserver in between, now earlier you saw the brightness settings, uh, that was achieved by this three-way switch. Um, that can be determined by yourself. We recommend the middle setting, which is the minimum brightness. You'll also notice that there's a fuse here, a 5 amp slow blow fuse. That's just for protection of the device. 
So that is installed. Hi, my name's David from the Pinball People and I'll just talk a little bit more about the lead lifesaver here which Rod's been talking about earlier. The reason we need this is because we're dealing with 21st century technology, being the LEDs, compared with the incandescent lights that they were doing 20 years ago. Now there is a mismatch between them insofar as the life expectancy of the LEDs is extremely limited if they're just plugged in without anything in between them. As most people should know, the life expectancy of LEDs should be quite long. And if we put this box in here, it takes up the mismatch between the two technologies and allows the LEDs to burn at a, at a brightness that will last them for quite some time. And um, in the last section today, we'll just put two uh, machines together. We'll put this two Star Treks together. One is full of incandescence and the other's full of LEDs. And we'll just have a look at the difference in brightness of the two machines. Thank you. So here we see two Star Treks, the one with the LEDs, the one with the original incandescent bulbs. Now we'll put the trans lights back in and you can see it as it is ready to be played. So as you can see, there's a real difference. Now let's take a look at the play fields and see the contrast between the two. This one with the LEDs and this one with the incandescent lamps. Our first shipment of the LED Life Preserver has arrived. If you'd like more information on this unit, you can do so by contacting me at my email address, which is rodpinballs at hotmail.com, or via our website, which is www.pinballpeople.com.au. We can come and install this device into your machine with the LEDs in the Sydney metro area. Thank you.